Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm the Tim Eiser, and welcome back to Dunswell. We're gonna jump right into this episode, guys. You probably know what's going on. We're gonna develop a agricultural area over here on Industrial Island. Um, uh oh. But first, I noticed that we might be having some garbage issues over here. Is that due to... I'm wondering if it's due to our landfills being in empty mode, so the trucks are busy going back and forth from these incineration plants and not, you know, going to recover some garbage. Hmm. I wonder if that's the case. It doesn't seem too bad yet, though. But I'm scared that it will become pretty bad if I just start uh, getting into the, uh, the agricultural zone and don't really pay attention. So maybe... Uh, should I, like, stop emptying one of our landfills? And then maybe the trucks can focus on... Oh, but there was only one truck in use. There's only four trucks in use in this one. Weird. Well, okay, well, this landfill is only 26% full. This one is 66% full. It's not terrible. Uh, and I could probably use another incineration plant. I think I might actually place a couple of them. Maybe two of them here. I mean, we're loaded with money now. <laughs> I really don't have to worry about that. So at least our incineration status is like really good now. Uh, so I yeah, I don't think I have to worry about that too much now. So anyway, let's jump right into our agriculture zone. So the first thing that I wanna do is provide access to that area. Uh, so first I'm going to run a four-lane road over to this corner of the map. And let's run it like this. there and I'm gonna stop that there um, another thing I want to talk about too actually is um, we have access to this rail line now and I only notice now but this whole section is elevated so what I think I'm gonna do is not necessarily like bring this down to ground level but instead of this being a bridge I might just put it on to ground mode so it'll just raise the terrain uh, to this to this height um, I think that's just going to be a bit more realistic. But anyways, what I wanted to explain is how I'm going to go about bringing a rail line over to this side of the island. And if you can see, there's kind of like an outline here of deciduous trees. And these were trees that were placed on the map uh, by default. And I just went and placed more trees because I had more available to me. Um, but the rail line is going to follow this little path of deciduous trees. And then it's going to come up to over here, and then I'm going to have a Y intersection. One, ro or one rail is going to the port area, and the other one's going to go to our oil facility. Oh, I have to provide some water. There. Um, so yeah, I guess the, the rail line is just going to run parallel to this avenue. Uh, so this looks pretty neat. And what I wanted to do, one thing that kind of bothers me is like this street layout here doesn't exactly follow an east to west direction. It's a little bit on a slant. And that's, I didn't really notice when I was placing down that grid. Um, but over here, I'd like to follow, you know, a proper east to west grid. I mean, it's, it's not a big deal. It's just kind of a little pet peeve. But let's do that like this. Let's start off with this. A nice fancy street for the farming area. So this like this whole section here is actually a ton of room for an agricultural area. So I think what I'm gonna end up doing is making two separate farms. So one on either side of this street that I just laid down. Because even with like all of these buildings, this is still plenty of room for two farms. So first, let's go ahead and lay down our zonage. 
So let's go ahead and do something like this. Just kind of have a zone between the trees. And we'll start off with that. And then we'll expand as we need to. Beach sector, we'll rename that as well. And one thing that kind of concerns me as well, let's just do a little test here. So I want to place down my main farm building. We'll place it We'll place it around like the entrance. Okay, so we got small animal pastures, small crop fields, small fruit fields. Perfect. Now, one thing that kind of concerns me, if I take my crop field, if I were to place a crop field over here, look, we only have 17 to 76 units per week, but if we place it more in the middle of our, our like our fertile zones, Look at that, and it goes all the way up to 4,800 units per week. And there's not a whole lot of fertile land. It's it's kind of in little splotches. Uh, so I think in this case, I am, I'm gonna cheat a little bit, guys. I hope this doesn't upset you too much, uh, but I'd, I'd just like to maybe kind of add a little bit more agriculture-ness to this ground, because in the default City Skylines game, like in, in the default maps, there's large chunks of agriculture land um, that are a lot more like dense than what's offered on this map. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit, add some fertile land, and then our farms are gonna perform much better. So I hope you guys think, or I hope you guys don't think that that's gonna ruin the experience. But anyways, I thought it was necessary. So now let's have some dirt roads. I'm gonna have a dirt road running this way. And yeah, we'll start off with that. And let's just go ahead and start adding some pastures and whatnot. So first we have some small crop fields. Uh, so let's start off with maybe five of those. And then we have some small fruit fields. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that for now, actually. Let's just have another road going this way. I want this to look pleasing as well. There, and then maybe some small animal pastures as well, which don't really require any fertile land anyways, so I'm gonna place this, these on this side of the road. A simple grain silo is used for storing farming, industry, raw materials, crops, storage buildings can be placed outside industrial areas. So yeah, let's maybe have a couple of those. And then for good measure, I'm also gonna place down a small warehouse. And then this, we can set it to fill. Um, maybe farming products for now. Okay, and of course we're gonna need some water over here. So let's run this line all the way to town. And this line over here is not connected to anything. I'm probably eventually gonna remove that. I could remove it any time, really, because it was placed there uh, when I downloaded the map, like by the map creator, and I never noticed that, so it's fine there for now. I may branch onto it at some point. Okay, so we got some water down here. What about power? Can I place a windmill? Will that help us any? How much power can we produce over here? So two megawatts, three, four, five. There's like a little dark strip here, but I don't think it adds anything to us. Yeah, let's place a windmill. How about we do that? And then as the city expands, you know, we'll eventually connect it up. So let's hit play and see how this whole thing does. Um, actually, you know what I should do? And this is purely aesthetic. Oh, shoot. Okay, I guess my crops need water as well. Well, of course they do, right? There. 
Now this is purely aesthetic, what I'm about to do here, but let's change this into wheat. To feed the cows that are in the pastures on the other side of the road. And then potatoes, yeah, that's fine like that. And as far as our fruit fields... Um... Yeah, let's just do pears and apples. I don't think oranges grow in the uh, Pacific Northwest area. <laughs> there, well this is a good start. What are these guys complaining about? Not enough raw materials. Oh, okay, it's because the pastures need crops in order to function, so we'll just give that a little bit of time and it should resolve itself. Oh, okay, there we go. We got some trucks spawning in and they seem to be storing everything into these silos. Storing some crops. So any minute now there should be some trucks coming to haul those crops for our pastures. Oh, we have a choice here too. We have cows, pigs, sheep. What's the difference between highland cows and just cows? Let's check that out. Oh, there's no cows yet. Alright, well, we'll see once they start spawning in. But yeah, a nice first little farm. Now, what do we need? Industrial area info. What do we need to unlock all of the other buildings? So we're like level one and a half. If I check here. Um, if I go to medium crop field. Oh, okay, so we need a level three farming area to get this. Probably level three to get any of the other medium buildings. Oh. Oh, there isn't a medium pasture. Okay. And then I need a level two for a barracks, level four for a farming area. So yeah, we got a little bit of work to do before we're able to, uh, to you know, take advantage of all of our agriculture buildings. That might not be for a while. Um, but at least you know we're in a uh, we're in a good spot so far. Maybe I can add some more pastures. All right, so I'm just gonna pause the game. I'm gonna scooch this over a little bit. It shouldn't affect the amount of power that it generates. And then I want another dirt road. I'm just gonna guess here if I lay that down here and then put down another pasture. Oh, okay. I think here would be a better spot. There we are. I just kind of wanted to change the orientation of this so it looks a little neater. And then why don't we place down some more pastures? Just like so, and then another silo, just for fun. So does my power jump over to here? Yep, it does. And then, oh my god, look at that, seven megawatts. So it looks like it was a good idea to scooch it over just a little. Awesome. Ooh, okay, look at that. So these are cows. Oh, and we still have nothing over here. I'm curious to see what the difference is between the two types of cows. Okay, so these are the highland cows. Hmm, okay. So we have so many cows now. I think I should maybe just change this into pigs. Let's do pigs, you know, just so we have a little bit of variation. Again, that's purely aesthetic, but still. And then over here for our farms, uh, we can maybe plop down some corn. Yeah, that looks nice. So where are we? Are we almost level two? Let's just run the simulation until we get to level two, because we're already producing animal products that we can sell for money, and it's going to be awesome. And I'm curious about one thing. If I go pollution, okay, I'm kind of surprised. I'm kind of surprised that this doesn't create any pollution. It may po produce some pollution in the future, but I'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, so, let's go back over to our farm now that we're level 2. 
And let's check out what we unlocked. So first of all, we have a barracks. And this, uh, what is this do? This increases the work efficiency of the workers in the industry. Each building increases the work efficiency by 5% up to a maximum of 100%. Auxiliary building need to be placed inside the industrial area. All right, so let's go ahead and place a barracks. First, let me scooch this over by one block. Oh, great. I was hoping it wasn't going to destroy that tree, so perfect. Um, yeah, that's fine like that. So let's have one barrack there. I'm not going to have another room enough room to place one in between here but I think one barracks is probably all right for now and then secondly what did we unlock a flour mill so a flour mill is a process building which requires crops to produce special goods flour flour mills grind crops into flour and package it for transportation processing building needs to be placed inside of the industrial area so let's go ahead and place one of these down, shall we? This is all gonna help to accelerate the, uh, I guess the growth of our area. Um, so what I'm gonna wanna do, so this doesn't have to be in any sort of fertile land. So let's just already expand our agricultural area to follow along this avenue for just a little bit. And then why don't we place the flour mill right on the main road? And then we also have a cattle shed. So cattle is raised inside of these buildings. It just basically shields them from the harsh weather. So this, I guess you could classify it maybe as like a medium pasture, uh, but this building produces animal products as well. So let's place one of these down. Maybe I should place it down just between some of these buildings just it looks nice you know it looks cool just like so not enough raw materials that'll get fixed in just a second And look at that, we're almost already level three. We're rapidly making our way to 1,500 of uh, resources produced. And uh, we have plenty of workers for the entire farm, so I don't have to place down another barracks. Um, area bonuses, so plus nine for efficiency, but minus 10 for pollution. But what kind of pollution is this creating? Ah, okay. So yeah, these, uh, these bigger buildings here produce a little bit more pollution. That's what it is. I was sure that, you know, these buildings created pollution. Uh-oh, do we have a crime area? Oh, looks like they might be storing something else other than, uh, than grain in these buildings. You know, are they filled with some other sort of powdered materials? I don't know. Maybe we should place down a police station and they'll be able to go check that out. And honestly, we should have a police station in the industrial zone anyways. So let's place one of these down. Crime rate's still super low though. 7%, I mean that's, <laughs> I think that's pretty good. And we're almost level three. Let's just accelerate everything. Let's just go full speed here. We only have about 200 resources produced to get to level three and then we'll unlock some more cool things. Um, actually, before we get into that, let me check. So what do I have in here? I have zoned industry farming products. So if I'm not mistaken, I think this basically fills, uh, th this is kind of farming products contains like pretty much anything that can be produced, if I'm not mistaken. So that would mean like there may be some grain in here. 
uh, or some crops, I mean, or maybe some animal products. I think it's just a collection of everything, but perhaps, um, so because of the flour mill, I should probably place down a storage building adjacent to it that would store their products. So that would specifically store some flour. So let's do that right away. And we'll go fill with flour. And then over here, I should probably go ahead and place down another storage building because these, uh, like, all right, there we have it. Level three. So we have a lemonade factory, a milking parlor, and we have our medium crop fields and medium fruit fields. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, as I was explaining, I think I should place down a storage building for our animal products just because we have so many animal product buildings and then maybe have a storage building for our, all of our crops too. I think that would be appropriate. So let's do that because I'm going to have even more animal products. So let's go back into our agricultural section, maybe just place down some more crop fields just to get started. So one here. Areas occupied. Oh shoot, the windmill's in the way. But I'm not going to move it again because it's surely not going to help to place it inside of a, a treed area. Um, maybe another field over here. I don't want to overdo it. So let's bring a road down this way. And yeah, that's fine for now. And why not a large fruit field? Okay, and then let's change this into... Yeah, apples is fine. I don't think cotton really grows around Vancouver either, but you know, it, it creates more variation. And some more corn. And then these folks need some water. That's fine. And there we are. Okay, so we got of our crop fields down. Pastures, we didn't unlock anything for that, did we? No, we only still have the small pasture, but we did unlock some more buildings. Oh yeah, we unlocked a smaller barn too. And I think this is just aesthetic. Okay, they can actually store stuff. Okay, that's cool. Um, all right, oh cool, look at that. Wow, we're a grand city already. I wasn't expecting this. Um, okay, so we don't really unlock a ton of stuff, but we do unlock a bigger loan. Um, solar power plant, baseball field. Okay, so we got some more waste processing buildings. So we're going to want to get into this actually pretty soon because we were having a little bit of a, a waste crisis at the beginning of the episode, but it's all good now. Uh, so anyways, let's get back into this. So we are suffering from a little bit of pollution. Hopefully this isn't going to affect the cows any. I don't think so. But okay, so these... All the pastures seem to be suffering from not enough food. This is not a good thing to have happen. So let's go ahead and I want to place down another storage building, but let's just maybe go for a, a large storage building for now. Because, yeah, and I got to be careful not to like overcrowd these roads. Let me provide another connection here to the main road. Okay. Um, so I'm going to place a large storage facility over here in the trees so we're not taking up any of the fertile land space. So let's go fill. And I want to fill this up with um where is it? Is there not crops? I thought I could fill these up with crops. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Well, 
why can't I fill these up with crops? Or do I need... Oh, I know. Okay, so I specifically need the grain silos to be filled up with crops. And it looks like they're already full. All three of them that I have. So, okay, so maybe we're okay. But we're still having these pastures struggling for food. I don't understand why. Why are the pastors struggling for food if all the silos are full? Maybe I don't have enough silos? Could place a couple of barns too. Okay, I'm gonna move this silo here. And then we'll have another barn right in between here. There, so that should give us enough storage, really, for crops. And then you can't really store animal pro- oh yeah, we can. So we can store animal products, but we can't store crops inside of one of these large warehouses. Which is kind of surprising to me. I mean, I, I guess it makes sense, like, crops would typically go into grain silos and whatever. But anyways, I think we're uh, we're all good. Maybe this wasn't the best idea to place uh, a barn in this corner. A small little road. But that's okay. Maybe we can do like some decoration a little later too because I see that you know, we have some fences. We have some fences that we can lay down. This is purely aesthetic. I might not really take the time to do that, but anyways. But man, our, our pastures are just struggling. They need crops, but all the crops are being delivered to the silos. Anyway, we'll leave it as is. It'll probably balance out eventually. You know, I, I still got to give the chance to the area to develop and look the barns are being filled aim to keep storage half full and half empty and then if I set it to empty the aim is to empty the storage by selling the resources maybe it should be sending them so maybe it should be setting them to empty Eh, balance is probably all right. Okay, so I'm quickly realizing that it's a delicate balance between feeding our animals, which produces animal products, but then we don't want to place too many fields versus how much cattle we have because look at that. Now crops are piling up and there's not enough buyers for them. So now, you know, some fields are, are all screwed up, you know, because nobody's buying their products. But we can fix that probably by placing a milking parlor because that takes some crops and creates some more animal products. So how much pollution does this create? It doesn't really say Pollu uh, pollution 25. So it does produce a little bit of pollution. But let's go ahead and place two of those right over here. So we have a fully functioning farm. Oh my God, guys, look at that. I'm kind of worried about the traffic though in these parts of town though because we only have little dirt roads uh, but that's okay because we're already reaching level four you know we still have tons of workers and we're quickly making our way to 4500 in produced resource units so we are producing some flour we're producing some animal products which is being sold and it seems to be reporting a little bit of money back to the city. Um, actually, let's check. I think we can view. Uh, but we're still not making any money. Um, I wonder why. Maybe because I'm just storing the animal products in flour. So I'm storing some flour over here. And storing the animal products over there. Maybe I'm just not selling them yet for a profit I don't know 
I mean, we're not losing a ton of money and I'm sure that we're eventually gonna start making money. So yeah, because we are still importing some products. Uh, let's see what kind of policies we can maybe enact here in this zone. So improve logistics, packing, scheduling of the deliveries is more efficient due to advanced inventory and vehicle tracking systems. So this increases the storage capacity of extractors and processing buildings by 20%, but also increases upkeep cost of industrial buildings by 10%. So I feel like that's a decent trade-off. We can maybe enact that. Uh, improve work safety supervision. So cost one cent affected. So it costs one cent per affected worker, but it increased worker health. I guess we can enact that too. And advanced automation. So robots and other automation systems make the production process faster and more accurate. Increase production by 10%, but it also increases building upkeep by 10% as well. So is it really worth doing this? I guess, I guess so. Uh, okay, so we are turning a profit now. Woo, $400 a week, awesome. And we're quickly making our way to 4,500. So another minute or so, and we should be getting into level four. So let's go over level four. We'll expand on our agriculture zones a little bit, uh, but I have to be honest, I was expecting so yeah, this, this area is actually taking up quite a bit of room. I was kind of expecting this farming area to not even take up half of this fertile land, but I'm, I'm surprised. It's a good thing though. And I don't know about this, guys. I think I may move these cattle sheds because they are producing a lot of pollution and it's kind of ruining the ground around them. Like it's killing all the trees. So I may, I may just move these buildings. I think I'm gonna do that, yeah. Okay, awesome, well there we go. Um, so what do we get? A clothing factory, farm maintenance building, large barn, and a slaughterhouse. Okay, cool. So first, I'm just gonna shove any polluting buildings over here and then we're gonna get the land to recover. I don't think barns really produce any pollution or anything, so I'm not gonna worry about those. Um, and then in its place, where the milking parlor used to be, I think I'm just gonna place down... Um, let's do a small crop field, but let's do a greenhouse. So, you know, it, it kind of replaces this uh, storage looking building. There. Okay, oh my god, we're almost a million dollars in the bank, guys. We're doing great now. You know, it's it's basically just because of the time spent uh, with the accelerated... Uh, this is basically just from accelerating the simulation all the time. So, farm maintenance building. Let's certainly place one of these. And what this does is, uh, let's see, increases storage capacity of industrial buildings by 5%. Auxiliary building needs to be played, okay. So yeah, okay, well, that's good. Um, and then I think the next building that we unlocked is a slaughterhouse, and I believe this produces a fair amount of pollution. So 25 pollution versus, okay, it's the same thing as a milking parlor. And this is a pretty big building too. And I don't really want it to occupy any space within the farm itself, so I could probably just place it along the main road. Like so. Maybe over here. I'm gonna do that. So let's expand our farming area a bit more. And now, one thing that I'm gonna have to do, so because if I'm gonna place any building along our main road, I should probably just upgrade this to a six lane road because then at least vehicles can turn right or left and this is just gonna make it more future proof anyway. Let's expand this into a six lane road because this road is gonna get pretty busy with all the industries and stuff that are gonna be along it. And let's place our slaughterhouse. 
So what a slaughterhouse does is it's basically just a bigger version of like a milking parlor or a cattle shed. It's it's just way bigger. It takes way more crops and you know produces way more animal products. So in order for this building to be worthwhile, I'm gonna need a lot more crops. So now we can go ahead and expand even further. that and let's get some more crops placed down There, well, I expanded a little bit on our crops. Uh, I have to be careful about power here too. I can't accurately measure the amount of power that this whole section is taken up. So do we have room? Uh, windmills take actually quite a bit of room up. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to fit this anywhere here, but maybe if I just place down a couple more windmills. So at this point, we're about halfway through level five. So I may skip ahead. So this episode is becoming quite long. I'm gonna skip ahead until we do reach level five. Oh my God, we're still not making any money, but at least we're producing food. So that's good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna skip ahead guys until we reach level five and then we'll finish up this agricultural zone. We're almost level five. This episode is getting to uh, to be quite long, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. So I'm just going to zoom my way to 13,500. And what are these guys complaining about? Not enough buyers for products. Goods are piling up. So, oh yeah, and another thing that we'll have to address too is factories. So all of the products that are being developed by the farm are not really being put to any use right they're they're kind of being sold uh but you know we just have such an excess at this point that we can't really do anything with it but we what we can do is um perhaps next episode we can place down a bakery so getting into some factories and also a lemonade factory so these are all good options maybe a clothing factory as well to use some of that extra uh oh we need plastics though I think that's plastics um but yeah we can start to place down some factories so uh you know we'll actually have some people buying up all the products that we're accumulating so making us even more money and uh if we check here we're actually turning a decent profit now so six thousand five hundred a week not too shabby that's helping out to the economy look at that we're making twenty five thousand a week now and we're hovering at just over one point almost 1.4 million we'll say so now we're rolling in the dough and then the few other issues that we'll have to get into are like noise pollution and, and that kind of stuff but you know that can wait at least we have a good hospital to treat the people with noise issues but let's first get to level five farms and we'll extract everything we can out of this farm we'll just get it to its full potential but yeah I'm, I'm liking this so far I'm actually quite surprised still that we've managed to use up all of this fertile land I forgot just like how big all of these pastures and stuff were almost there and our demand is holding steady quite well too 
We'll have to get some more population in town to be able to work the farms. All right, there we have it, guys. So what did we unlock? We have a large grain silo, finally a large animal pasture, a food factory. So this is a big plus. Um, large crop fields and large fruit fields. Okay, so now let's take the last couple of minutes of this episode to really get the full potential out of our farm area now that we have everything unlocked. So first, oh yeah, I think... Okay, yeah, the food factory is, uh, okay, that's, yeah, it's a factory, so, um, all right, so I'm going to preemptively place down a large storage building, I'm going to place it, uh, yeah, I want to be careful where I place buildings over here, because the highway is going to come right through. I want to be careful to not place it on this side of the avenue as well because, well, that's where the uh, the train line is going to go. So maybe, I think it should be fine here. I'm going to fill this with animal products because I am about to place down... Actually, yeah, that's full of animal products. I'm going to place down this large warehouse because I am about to place down a lot of pastures and I need ample storage for all of the animal products that uh, are gonna be stored in here. Um, I'm gonna move this smaller pasture over somewhere else. Actually, I'm gonna remove it all together and then I'm gonna replace it with a large pasture. Oh, I'll have to expand on our zone a bit. Boom, large pasture. Of course, I want to place down some large agricultural areas too. We'll just fill in all the little cracks. Oh no, can't move this over by one. There, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. And now we can fit some large pastures. And now we're talking. So with all the little nooks and crannies that I have, I can just go and place down some large silos and whatnot. And then some barns. And then at this point, we're probably gonna need some more employees pretty soon, or some new room for employees. Actually, I think any building that you place down kind of adds a little bit more room, but Let's just add a couple barracks. Two barracks. And then, uh, 
Yeah, I think that'll do. Boom. And then let's just change this up. What does the weird, the uh, greenhouse look like for this? Well, that looks kind of cool. And then what do we have here? We have some pigs, cows. I don't have a lot of sheep. Let's have some sheep. And there we have it. All right, guys. Well, I think the farm is pretty much at its full potential for now. Um, there's often some buildings that seem to be complaining of not enough buyers, but we're going to fix that next episode. Next episode, I'd like to start to play around with some factories. We'll place down some factories. And then, like I was saying, too, uh, here, this is kind of bugging me. I, I, I think it's probably time that I upgrade this into a road just to, you know... It probably doesn't help capacity any, but at least it provides us with here. Let's even do an industrial road. At least it'll uh, increase the the rate of traffic a little bit, though the the traffic speed. Um, so yeah, what I was gonna say is uh, next episode we'll get into some factories to sort of you know alleviate the not of buyers issue, and then I'd like to lay down the highway. That's going to come around uh, this section, the, the farming section, because, yeah, traffic is not really, well, it's not really that bad right now, but it can get pretty brutal. So we'll get into that in the near future. So guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and also be sure to subscribe to the channel. And until the next episode, take care, guys.